the uh, obligatory patio furniture yes. with snow. But anyway, meteorologist Stacy Donaldson joins us now. Wow. Stacy, you were explaining to me basically how this storm just kind of stuck over Greeley. It did. A few bands of heavy snow really socked in Greeley. 13 and a half inches of snowfall there while we only had two inches in Denver. So while a lot of folks were posting on Facebook and Instagram saying, hey, I don't have any snow, Greeley was just like, oh my gosh, look how much. 13.5 inches, 8.8 in Golden, about 7.5 in Lakewood, and about 3.4 at Denver International. And we're not done yet. We still have snow moving across the area. This is our time lapse from this morning into this afternoon. Cloudy skies and that snow continuing to stick around. And we'll have a few more hours with very light snowfall here in Denver. But we could pick a couple more inches up here for the front range as we go in through tonight. So our observed highs today in the 20s and 30s. Our official high today, 32 degrees set at 12.01 a.m. But this afternoon we made it into the upper 20s. So that's what we're taking as our high for today here in Denver. 29 degrees uh, for our high, 26 for the overnight low. So not much fluctuation in our temperatures, the cloud cover and the snowfall today. Our average high is 44 degrees this time of year. As for our weather headlines, sunny skies for tomorrow. Lots of sun and melting on the way. Our afternoon highs will be around 50 degrees to start the week. But our wind chill factor out there now feels like it's 13 in Denver, 14 in Greeley and 17 in Sterling. So it feels very cold out there, even though our temperatures are still in the 20s. And we have snow here across the eastern half of Colorado. Not a lot happening in the higher elevations. Most of the action tonight is going to be from Denver and the I-25 corridor eastward. So we have snow here around Denver up into northeastern Colorado as well. Some lighter snow out toward Glenwood Springs and east of Grand Junction. But we also have that heavier snow to the south where we could see four to 10 inches of snow toward Trinidad, about three to six more here toward Colorado Springs and about one to three up toward Greeley. These are winter storm warnings. The first to expire will be to the north. The last to expire will be to the south and that's tomorrow morning at about 11 a.m. Winter weather advisories tonight here in Denver will expire at 11 p.m. Could see another one to three inches, two to four across the eastern plains and farther to the south. They'll stay in effect until 5 a.m. tomorrow morning and it's because that energy is going to be sinking to the south. It'll still be snowing down there early tomorrow, but tonight things clear out. This will be about two 30 in the morning. We start to see the skies clear, but in the meantime, we'll have light amounts of snow here for our area up into northeastern Colorado and just off to the west. So our lows by tomorrow morning in the 20s here we will have single digits and below zero temperatures to the west. 25 at DIA, 18 in Aurora, 13 in Longmont and 25 in Greeley. And we'll have our high country planner, including lots of sunshine as well. Around 10,000 feet temperatures in the 20s. Now our Super Bowl watch party forecast looks good. If you're pre partying before for the game, 35 degrees at noon with sunny skies, 37 by 3 o'clock and 29 by 7 o'clock. So we won't have any problems with the weather as we go through tomorrow. Highs tomorrow right around 40 degrees. We'll have 20s and 30s in the higher elevations and 30s to our southwest into Durango and Pagosa Springs. 39 uh, downtown for tomorrow, 40 at DIA, DIA with 30s toward Castle Rock and Parker and 30s and 40s off to our northeast. Our future cast tonight and into tomorrow includes that that snow shower activity shifting down to the south and everything really clearing out as we go into tomorrow. As for our super seven day forecast, 49 degrees on Monday, 50 on Tuesday and 51 Wednesday. Another front coming through Thursday with a chance for some snow showers in the evening and mid 40s to round out the week.